will be dealing with some properties of liquids but not in much details only a general introduction of these are given no calculations are done or no formula is also given and viscosity one of the property of liquid it increases with increase in intermolecular forces and then we learn about surface tensions and it also increases with intermolecular forces then comes vapor pressure it is the one which decreases with increase in intermolecular forces now let's go further and learn what are each one of these are so viscosity it is a measure of fluids resistance to flow you know that honey if it's pour honey in the ground and water also water flows more easily so we say honey is more viscous than water and or you can say an example of maple syrup maple syrup is also more viscous and the unit of viscosity is uh, newtons per seconds per meter square it is just for the information given to you then uh, the next thing is uh, viscosity decreases with increase in temperature and larger the intermolecular forces the viscosity will be more and uh, viscosity increases with increase in molar mass also quite obvious and heavier uh, compound will move slowly now the next property surface tension consider a molecule at the center of the um, beaker which is shown over there the center molecule will have forces from all the direction whereas the molecule at the surface will have forces only in uh, below it the forces on top of it will will be acting because of this what happens is you get a curvature on the surface or we can call surface tension as a property of liquid arising from unbalanced molecular forces at or near the surface and because of this the surface tends to contract um, and resembles a stretched elastic membrane and larger the intermolecular forces we are more interested in the intermolecular forces only larger the intermolecular forces higher will be the surface tension so we learn little about viscosity and surface tension just the definition now we will see what vapor pressure is consider a beaker of water we have all the molecules in the center and you can see that some of the molecule can without heating we are not doing anything if you just leave a beaker of water outside you can see that i can have some uh, uh, water molecules escape into the gas phase so uh, this part of the molecules on the gas phase will impart a pressure on the uh, molecules below it and this is what we call as the vapor pressure so we have more molecules on the gas phase you'll have a higher vapor pressure and you will learn more about vapor pressure in the next chapter but here just an introduction is given to you so what you need to know and know is how intermolecular force affects the vapor pressure vapor pressure decreases with increase in intermolecular forces quite obvious water with such a big uh, uh, we're having a uh, intermolecular force with lot of hydrogen bonding only few of it will escape out for a, uh, but at the same time if you leave out ether or acetone where uh, the interaction is only polar uh, interaction more molecules will come out and uh, vapor pressure also increases with increase in temperature so if i heat the beaker more molecules will go into gas phase vapor pressure increases with increase in surface area so compare the two beaker beaker a and beaker b obviously a the evaporation can be larger and hence will have a higher vapor pressure identify the compound with higher viscosity so we have given the first group water at 35 degree celsius and water at 65 degree celsius obviously water at 35 degree celsius will have a higher viscosity because viscosity increase uh, in, uh, is higher at lower temperature then water and hcl water will have a higher viscosity because of higher intermolecular force hpr and hcl hpr will have a higher viscosity because it is heavier then ethyl alcohol and methyl alcohol ethyl alcohol will have a higher viscosity because it is heavier again and between ccl4 and chcl3 
um, CCL4 is non-polar, CHCl3 is polar. So we would have expected CHCl3 because of the intermolecular forces to have a higher viscosity, but CCL4, the weight is much more as compared to CHCl3. The one chlorine has a lot of its weight and hence CCL4 has a higher viscosity because the uh, larger molar mass of CCL4 overrides the polarity. Now let's do the same thing for vapor pressure. Identify the compound with higher vapor pressure. Water at 35 degrees Celsius and water at 65 degrees Celsius. Water at 65 degrees Celsius will have a higher vapor pressure because of higher temperature. In the next group, HCl will have a higher vapor pressure because it cannot form hydrogen bonding. And water and acetone. Acetone cannot form hydrogen bonding and hence it will evaporate easily and it will have a higher vapor pressure. Between C5H12 and C8H18, because C8H10 has a higher uh, molar mass, it will have a lower vapor pressure and hence C5H12 it will have a higher vapor pressure. CCL4 and CDR4, CCL4 definitely will have a higher vapor pressure because of uh, it is lighter, it will have a lower boiling point, so it will evaporate out faster.